Hi, this is Jeff Hopp in The Big Game Hunter, and I'm going to talk with you today about contingency versus retained search. Now, there's a, a certain air around retained search. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's perceived to be superior than contingency. Now, uh, let's just analyze the differences, if I may. A contingency search firm is hired by a, th by a company to fill a position. A retained search firm is hired by a company to fill a position and is paid the money of uh, an uh, amount to retain them to do the search, uh, uh, another piece to deliver resumes to them or to have screened people and refer them, and another piece upon completion. The percentages are irrelevant, but it's how the money is funded uh, to the retained search firm uh, that will differentiate from the contingency. The contingency firm is only paid upon successful completion of the search. Everything else that they're doing is speculation. Why does a firm hire a retained firm versus a contingency? It's to buy the dedicated effort. There's the perception that the talent working from the retained firm is superior to that working for the contingency firm. Now, that isn't always the case, but you know, let's just buy the, the marketing here. Let's just accept it. So how does that affect you? For most of you, it won't matter because for most of you, you're going to be in, in the uh, sector that's handled by a contingency search firm. Uh, retained search tends to work at a higher level than the contingency firms do. Uh, it's that really where the differentiator is because how they're paid it doesn't matter to you. It's the nature of the jobs that they're asked to fill. So if you're a C-suite executive, if you're a, a professional who's running a line of business or, or is the president or chairman of an organization, obviously you know that retained is where you need to be. And you need to do things to position yourself to be noticed by the retained firms uh, to, to get on their radar. You know, it's not like you decide to look for a job and you're reaching out to retain firms. It doesn't work that way. They want to be reaching out to you. So you put yourself in the position to be noticed and found. Uh, for the for the bulk of you, uh, you're, as I said, in the in the excuse me, in the contingency levels. Uh, you're dealing with staff level positions, middle management jobs, director level positions, nothing at an executive level. The belly, that's the ballywick of, of the contingency firms. So when I'm asked, are you working on this on retainer? Yeah, I take retainers for some positions I recruit for, but most positions I'm involved with are contingency. And as far as the job applicant is concerned, it doesn't really matter except in the nature of the position and the relationship that the firm or the individual recruiter has with that firm. If there's a good relationship, then it really doesn't matter. Uh, if there's no relationship, obviously it does. But when all is said and done, for most of you, you're in the land of the contingency recruiter. And you have to learn to evaluate and assess them in much the same way as you would if you were hiring them to fill a position. More about that on another occasion. This is Jeff Alpin. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, share it, leave a comment, click the like button, do something that lets people know it was worthwhile. Then go over to TheBigGameHunter.us and go explore it because I've got a ton of great content there that you can read, watch, and listen to that will help you find work more quickly. Plus, you can search positions I'm recruiting for, download my books and guides to job search, and pay what you want for them. A lot of good content at my site, a lot of tools that will help you. So go over to TheBigGameHunter.us and go explore it. A few more things, please. First of all, if your current firm is trying to hire someone, send me an email at the address below. Let me know who to contact and whether I should mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you look like a spammer to me or a scammer, except if you're a third party recruiter. Finally, Go over to my website. Um, there's a, a, a product there that I do sell called Winning Phone Interviews. Um, $9.99, 19 minutes of great content to help you do a better job of phone interviewing. 
Um, order a copy. You'll also get a copy of one of my books, The Single Best Question You Should Ask on Any Interview, um, with your download. This is Jeff Alpin. Hope you have a great day. Take care.